Uh, thank you very much. My name, I'm called Matsuko David, a student at Mbara University, Bachelor of Movement Studies, third year. Uh, my question is, is all about exploitation. For many years, peasants, or people who are directly involved in agriculture, have been getting peanuts, like how my colleague stated it. But then, all these peanuts, what they have been getting, was as a result of exploitation by businessmen, who are middle people, middlemen. How, how these people who are in front of us, what measures are they having in order to stop that exploitation by businessmen at the expense of the peasants? Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Exploitation by the middlemen. Yes. And go for it. Okay, yeah. I think we've, um, we've been talking in general generalities, and but specifically, we cannot delink um, that exploitation from other factors. For example, if we do what we are doing in IPC, that is promoting the reestablishment uh, of cooperatives, so that uh, a farmer has a direct market where he's dealing with people he knows and knows that there's a ready market through the cooperative, and then the cooperative looks for the wider market. Somebody talked about managing prices. I think cooperatives used to do that when we're in the days of coffee and cotton production. That should be reintroduced. But also you cannot link it from infrastructure. I don't think that these middlemen are always stealing. I went to a place in Mwizi where you can buy a bunch of matoke for 1,500 shillings, whereas we know in Kampala the same bunch is going to cost 15,000. And they're talking about gas prices. They are talking about the state of the roads going to Mwizi. So we have to be able to see the linkages that, and it's a wholesome picture we have to have a very wholesome approach to the prices issue. And, of course, most important is information. 